Good morning, it's Monday, October 10th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Pieces of the Parent, and our scriptures, Numbers, chapter 14. The Lord is slow to anger and filled with unfailing love, forgiving every kind of sin and rebellion. But he does not excuse the guilty. He lays the sins of the parents upon their children. The entire family is affected, even children in the third and fourth generations. DNA is hardly refutable. From color of our hair, skin, and so many other physical characteristics, to mannerisms, voice, and aging, we pass along who we are. The other day I leaned over to my bride and said, When did we become our parents? (laughs) During the time when our children were teens, I would make a call to the house to talk with Elizabeth. If Jennifer, our oldest, would answer, for the better part of a ten-minute conversation, I'd have no clue that the voice belonged to our child, not her mother. Now that's well-documented stuff, and it's palatable on the positive side. It sometimes even makes us laugh. What's not so clear, nor palatable, is the scripture verse. Having the children, the grandchildren, and even great-grandchildren pay for the sins of the parent seems more than a little unfair. The picture of a child constructed entirely of pieces of the parent is a chilling reminder of the responsibility we bear as parents to instill the best of what God gives us in our children. And it's not just what we do, but how it's done. The old adage is just as chilling, children learn what they live with. Our poor behavior can tip the scales in the opposite direction of what we intended. There's another old saying that comes to mind here, do what I say, not what I do. Truth be told, that threadbare dog will not hunt. Your children are much more apt to do what you do than what you tell them. The suspicion that the scripture is slanted towards being unfair is nonetheless true. It is so with everything in the natural realm. A stone, for instance, tossed in a lake will make ripples that never end. A tree falling in a forest makes a thud that vibrates. All actions have corresponding and equal reactions. And if you jump out of an airplane at 10,000 feet without a parachute, the gravity of the situation will become clear and painful. Just as clear and much more palatable is the other side of that coin. If slipping into untoward behavior or sin is damning to your children, grands and more, then the opposite Repentance and obedience can be just as healing, and there's only one obstacle standing between the parent who has behaved poorly and the beginning of the healing process for the offspring, and that's the parent's pride. The greatest example of this paradigm is King David. David's self-absorbed behavior with Bathsheba, including lust, adultery, bordering on rape, conspiracy, and the cover-up that took integrity apart in his soul, nearly destroyed not only his kingdom, but more importantly his relationship with God. When the prophet Nathan finally unearthed what David had tried to bury, the king broke and confessed openly. The damage to David's children was severe, and they were following in his footsteps, pieces of the parent, if you will, but his transparent confession became his legacy. For you today, let's let Apostle Paul have the last word today about a life principle that will always be the higher ground for parenting and living a purposeful, holy life. Philippians chapter 4. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.